Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Today is New Year's Day. Last night was New Year's Eve and we have a new world, a new dawn, a new day, a new you. And I'm sure everyone is feeling fine, good, still alive. Well, if you're watching this, um, you might still be alive. Uh, good, excellent. So, to celebrate, because... Why would you not celebrate? We have some sparkling wine. It is, well, it's this stuff. It's French. I'm going to read it. Well, I'm going to try and read it. I never learned French. I learned a little bit of German, which is a nice language. I actually really like German as a language. Uh, this is Sire de Beaupré. Sire de... Um, well, hang on a second, because it's French, and there's an accent over the east, so that'd be Sire de Beaupré. But then French don't pronounce the last letter, so it'd be Sir de Beaupré. It's a sparkling wine. But why have I got the sparkling wine here? Why has this been in my cupboard for years and years and years, and no, it's not expired? It's, at least I don't think it's expired. There's no use-by date on the old bottle. But wait. There is something a little bit strange about this because mm, uh, uh, oh, oh, yep, yeah, that's a bit weird. So this, the, uh, cam everything's like mirrored on the camera. So this has a bit of a problem with the cork, as you can probably tell. The mice have been at it, not here, um, not in this humble abode, but. Is it, at its last place of residence, uh, apparently the mice had a go at getting into the bottle. They actually got fairly close, because this is a plastic cork, um, they, fairly, they got fairly close to critical failure, uh, to actually eating through the last, I guess, oh, they were probably half a centimetre away from blowing, uh, blowing the cork. Or just depressurizing the bottle. I've seen quite a few people, uh, especially on the internet. There's a little bit of dust on there. Especially on the internet. And what they do is they, they take the wire off, which is what you're supposed to do. And then they, they get the thumb under the cork and give it a little push. Oh boy. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, what you're supposed to do is take the wire off, as normal. And then grasp, grasp the shaft, um, neck. And then take the cork and slowly twist, 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 twist. So it's in your hand. So there's, if any pressure, uh, it doesn't blow out um, a light or someone's eye or glasses or expensive electrical equipment, which I'm surrounded by. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I don't know why the mice were so interested in this bottle. Look, can you see the foil? They actually took uh, all the foil off as well. Um, the other thing about mice is that they are incontinent. They will pee everywhere. They did leave little wee trails, so this is probably covered in mouse wee wee. I have to do it up here. This is, again, very strange. I have to do it up here. Uh, so let's take the wire off and hope we don't poke a hole in the ceiling and spill. So not champagne, sparkling wine. Uh, Got to be very, uh, very, very clear about that. Uh, let's see. Vin Moose sucks. Moose sucks. Wait a minute. 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 Can you, can you read that? I think I've worked out why the mouse wanted to get in here. Because it says Vin, which I'm going to go with wine. Uh, and then Moose sucks. The wine that mouse suck. I'm a genius. An evil genius, but still a genius. So we'll take the wire off. Um, oh yeah, the mice have critically caused the cork to be a little bit faily. Uh, can you see this? So I'll take it off over the keyboard, which again I haven't moved because you know what? There we go. So that's the wire that holds it in for transportation and stuff. Uh, the rest of the cork is. Corky. Mm. <sighs> ah, keyboard, monitor, Sega's Sega, laptop, light, Pentax. That's a K1 as well. Uh, Roomba, Roomba. I'm just gonna put it in my lap and. All right. So, uh, 
So we give it, grab it firmly by the shaft and then just twist, 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 twist. It's a little way out. Oh, is that moving with its own volition? I hope not. Twist, twist, twist. I used to do silver service waiting. That's why they serve the meat and all the vegetables separately. And you had a wine waiter. He was Italian. Um, okay, and... Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. I don't... I don't drink a lot. Um, I tell people I don't drink at all. It's a lot easier than saying, I like driving. And I don't like staying in someone's spare bedroom on the floor or um, in a gutter. So, yeah, it's a curious thing. I'm just trying to... Uh, I've got pushed to talk, so if it cuts out for any reason, whatever. I don't know. Uh, we need to clean the top. We can't just have this as is, uh, because the mouse wee-wee. Um, smells like an alcoholic wine to me. So we're not sponsored by Sir, Sir, Sir We're not sponsored by the mouse poisoners. Um, this is going to make some noise. We're also not sponsored by Johnson and Johnson. Uh, good, because we need to give this a little clean around the top. I still don't know what the mice were thinking. Maybe it was an animals of farthing wood thing, and they were trying to get from A to B, and they were like, oh, you know what, just. Just whatever, we'll just, we'll just have the wine and then it'll be fine. So I think that's either spread the wee wee around or, um, hmm, certainly change the bouquet. Uh, okay, Roomba will not clean that up. Oh, I have a cloth. Just in case it went everywhere. Why did I not have that on my lap? I don't know. Hi, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> oh, this has made it worse. All right, let's get it into a glass. Wait, is that French or German? I don't know. Hey, here's a glass. A surprisingly large wine glass, uh, if you will. Let's try and get this in here so anyone can see it. Pour it from the side so the bubbles don't uh, fizz up everywhere. Also, 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 why am I filling it up like I'm... <sighs> Hi. Uh... <sighs> yeah, it is a surprisingly big glass. Um... I think I know why the mice were like, Hi, I want some of that. Because it looks like a big old thing of mouse wee-wee. Smells like wine. Um... Tastes like fizzy wine. Mmm. If you take a normal wine, just any sort of um, Sauvignon, and then you throw it through a soda stream. Yeah, I'm going to drink too much more of that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's nothing, nothing like uh, massively wrong. I don't know why the mice wanted it. Well, here's to another year. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you at the end of it. All the survivors, anyway. Uh, oh, God, why am I still drinking it? I, I can actually... I can actually taste the baby wipes. Or I can just imagine that I can taste the baby wipes. All right, fine, fine, we're going to stop there. Um, all right, well, thank you for watching this. Uh, that was an interesting little artifact that's been in the cupboard for ages. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just one more thing, one more thing, one more thing before I go. Um, if you're going around someone's house and you're going to be an adult about things and you are, uh, you're going, you say to yourself, I'm going to take a bottle of wine because, uh, they like a wine the way I'm going. Uh, you first of all, drop the stereotype because it's kind of a little bit racist. Um, the other thing is, uh, either take a, uh, Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc or, and I've never heard this said out loud, but a Similion Sauvignon is two grapes. One's bitter, one's sweet, and they mash them together and make a really nice wine. Or uh, take, if if you, you know your guests are into a red, uh, take a Rioja. Don't be one of those people who take a rosé everywhere because, oh my, you just don't need that. Um, good. Well, uh, thank you for watching. 
pff, congratulations. We all survived another year. Um, next year, 2020. Wow. Hey, I wonder if there's going to be a new apocalypse. That'd be fun. Uh, subscribe if you want more of this sort of stuff. Uh, make a comment because comments are good. Uh, thumbs up if you want more. Thumbs down if... It doesn't matter, actually, because it's just interaction with the video. So thumbs up and down mean the same thing as far as YouTube's concerned. Um, and obviously, if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. Also, there's a Facebook page, uh, which will have all the videos with a bonus that if I'm doing any live streaming on James's channel, well, you know what? I'll post it over at Facebook. But until then, goodbye.